you've seen the scary headlines. Tech layoffs continue after a year of efficiency. Google, Amazon, Duolingo lay off hundreds of staff. Tech layoffs in 2024. If you're at the beginning of your cloud journey, you might be asking yourself, is it still worth it to get in the cloud? Are there any jobs left? Are all the opportunities gone? Honestly, I don't think you have anything to worry about if you're at the start of your cloud journey. And today I'm going to give you three reasons why you shouldn't be scared of all this tech layoff news, as well as what you can do to improve your chances of securing that entry level cloud role. By understanding these reasons I'm going to talk about today, you will feel confident continuing your cloud journey because you will realize that you have nothing to fear. Before we continue, I have something to admit to you. I've been laid off before and it sucks. When it happened to me, I started to really question myself. Am I good enough? Do I have what it takes to succeed in this industry? Would I get another job? My confidence took a really big hit. Not to mention all the financial insecurities because you know, I still had rent to pay. Luckily for me, a month after my layoff, I was able to secure a job with better pay and better working hours than the previous role. So it all had a happy ending. So if you've been impacted by the layoffs, I just want you to know that you will get through this. You will be okay. I feel like it's really important to acknowledge this because I know for a lot of people, it's a really difficult time and I wish you all the best in your job search. All right, let's get right into the video. Tech companies like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft get a disproportionate amount of media attention. If Jeff Bezos sneezes, it becomes front page news. But the reality is there are a lot more companies in the economy beyond these fan companies. According to the US Chamber of Commerce, there are over 33 million businesses in America. And in the UK, there are over 2 million businesses. This means that there are literally millions of profitable companies that need your cloud skills. However, you don't hear about that because they don't get the same media attention as Facebook, Amazon, Meta, all these other companies do. I'm talking about the schools, the hospitals, energy companies, consultancies, all these businesses need your skills. And just because four or five companies are performing layoffs doesn't mean the entire industry is dead. You need to move away from having a scarcity mindset filled with fear from all these headlines and move towards more of an abundance mindset where you know that there's a lot of opportunities out there and it's your job to go out there and get them. Give this video a like if you're enjoying it and why not subscribe if you're new here? It really helps the channel grow. Are you interested in getting your first cloud job? If you answered yes, then I have a free guide just for you. This free guide walks you through a proven step-by-step -step process to help you get that first cloud job. It walks you through the three simple steps you can take today to make yourself highly employable. The link is in the description below, so make sure you download it now if you're interested. All right, let's get back to the show. All right, on to the next point. Hopefully so far, I'm beginning to put your mind at ease. But before we go on, there's one question which I feel it's really important to ask yourself. Do you think the cloud industry is growing or shrinking? And the answer to this may surprise you because of all these negative headlines you're hearing. I read a study that said over the next five years, the cloud computing industry is expected to grow at a compound annual rate of 18.3%. Wow. For some context, it's estimated that the cloud industry is worth about $674 billion, but in 2028, it's expected to be over $1 trillion. This means that more and more companies are embracing the cloud and the cloud usage is estimated to grow significantly. And so if anything, rather than being discouraged, now is the time to be building up your cloud skills doing high quality project, learning as much as you can to set yourself up to take advantage of this new opportunity. But let's assume that I'm wrong. Let's assume that right now, nobody's hiring, the market is completely dead. So what? A career in the cloud is a long-term game. And if you approach it with short-term thinking, you will never be successful. Just because things are bad today, doesn't mean they'll be bad in three months time or six months time. Ask yourself this, in three months time when the headlines change and it's all about how everyone's hiring right now, who would you rather be? Would you rather be the person that gave up on their dreams? Or would you rather be the person who was persistent? They kept chasing their goals. They kept doing what they were supposed to do. They kept learning more about Linux, Bash, 
AWS, Terraform, they kept increasing their skills because I'd rather be the person who kept being persistent because when opportunity comes, you'd be ready. Now, at the start of this video, I promised you that I'd show you what you needed to do to get your first entry-level cloud role. If you're still interested to find out, click on this video here. It'll walk you through exactly how the cloud job market works, why you probably haven't gotten your first cloud role yet, and exactly what you need to do to break into the cloud industry. Click here, watch it now. See you in the next one.